A new insect that can damage soybeans is now here in Louisiana. The kudzu bug arrived in the U.S. on the east coast about four years ago and has been migrating west ever since. Toby Blanchard has our report. An LSU Wax Center entomologist has confirmed the arrival of the kudzu bug in Louisiana. C. Brown said the insect, which can feed on soybean plants, has been found in Madison and Tensaw parishes in northeast Louisiana. We were finding probably one per hundred sweeps, which is extremely low, and that's way, way below the preliminary action threshold. Brown said this finding is not reason for alarm, but he wants growers to know this new pest is out there. The insect is native to China and India, but has been in the U.S. since 2009. It can be found on kudzu, wisteria, and legumes such as soybeans. He said it feeds on the stems and foliage of plants. They'll stress the plant by extracting plant fluids, and plants under especially soybeans under drought stress are hit the hardest, and they can cause yield losses of uh, 18 to 20 percent. Soybean farmers already use pesticides to control stink bugs in their fields. Brown said these chemicals will also manage kudzu bugs. When producers start pr uh, making applications for stink bugs at about R2 to R3, we may not find any more kudzu bugs because a lot of the products we use will control kudzu bugs as well as stink bugs and other insects in the field. The pest is a relative of the stink bug. It even excretes a foul-smelling chemical like stink bugs. Brown said as plant hosts die out in the fall, the bug will start moving into structures. So they can and do have the potential to become a household pest. Farmers should be on the lookout for the pest. They can scout for it using a sweep net as they would other insects. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. Farmers who find the kudzu bug should alert the local LSU Ag Center county agent in their area so the Ag Center can track the pest.